And then we have Kirby ready to suck someone up. Hello and welcome to your first day. I'm really excited to train you here in our Squishmallow Spa. I'm going to be bringing you along just like two average ses sessions um, and what I do so you can kind of learn from me and um, learn the ropes. Um, but there's a lot of little tips and tricks that you'll learn and also I think just a lot of little important details. Squishmallows have very sensitive skin, so it's very important that we cater to them. So, I have two sessions. I'm just going to go on the computer really quick and make sure all of those are set because I should have... Um, yeah. It looks like two sessions. Pretty much back to back for us because it just means a lot less work. Okay. And I've got two regulars coming in so that'll be great so you can um, um, watch over and they're totally comfortable. I've already agreed to it. Yeah. Just writing in a bit of data here. Um, are you already set up in our systems? Okay. Um, yeah. So. Okay. Perfect. You're right there. So let me just add you. We obviously want you to get paid for your work, and we just want to make sure the records are a lot clearer to read for future use, so that way we aren't dealing with, like, it's just easier for future use, and then also if I'm ever not working and there's specific requests from the Squishmallows, the patients that we have today, the customers, um, then you may be able to take in and you might be a great person to overlook these specific clients. There isn't a lot of us working here, it's a rather niche group of people, so generally um, hours are easy to get whenever you want them. Alright, you are all set, I think. I think everything looks, looks good, yeah. Computer looks great. I'm just gonna go grab something and I'll be right back. So, one of the ways that we really enhance the experience um, at our spa is we have these drinks and these are offered for every client. Um, they get one totally free of charge. And I do recommend, there's, there's three different flavors, so I'll show you them. You can also pick one out, and if you'd like to drink, I do recommend it. Like, I'm normally sipping. You get, you get one totally free, don't even worry. Um, all the employees, so, yeah, I drink one. I think it also just helps, too, because if you're ever with a client, sometimes you get really shy clients who don't want to be, like, an inconvenience, and don't, you know, you'll be like, oh, you want a drink? And then they'll be like, oh, I'm alright, I'm okay, and then you'll say, oh, really? Like, I can show you the flavors, I'm gonna have XYZ flavor, and are you sure you don't want to try it? And, um, if you really can tell, like, they don't want it, obviously that's totally okay. I do have a few clients who just don't really want refreshers, or maybe they just want water. But these are joy bursts. Um, they're very, like, marketed for health, but, um, honestly, they taste really good, and that's why I like drinking them, and, and, um, I think they have electrolytes in them. Do they have electrolytes in them? Actually, I don't even know. Maybe they don't have electrolytes in them. I think I might be insane. 
they do have electrolytes, that's what I thought. I was trying to read where it said electrolytes and I found it. So there's three different flavors that we have. We have strawberry lemonade. And then we have peach. And we also have watermelon. I think I'm gonna have the strawberry lemonade. They're all really good. Um, we also... We also have A&W root beer. Um, sometimes, you know, when you want... Because these are, these are zero sugar. So they are a little more healthy, but sometimes people are interested and we generally carry different types of sodas, just kind of depending on the week or the month. Right now we carry a &W, so that's also an option for you um, or for the clients who want it. So, But I'm going to be drinking the Strawberry Lemonade Joy Burst. Um, yeah, it's got electrolytes, vitamins, and yeah. Very interesting. Anyways, so you are totally free to take whatever you need anytime you need it. Uh, we definitely want to make sure everyone is hydrated and um, feeling well. Uh, I have fainted once at work. Uh, not this job, it was a different job. I was working in a retail place and it was, it was just an unfortunate circumstance of being up early and then not getting breakfast and I went to work and all of a sudden my vision faded and I can barely hear and and I felt so anxious because I felt like I was gonna be an inconvenience like they were gonna be like because I needed to sit down I needed to sit down but I didn't want to say that I needed to sit down so I didn't say anything and then my manager who was training me yeah they were training me at the time and um, they were dealing with a customer and I was just overlooking and then I went I'm sorry I feel faint I think I need to sit and then I just immediately passed out and my head hit the wall me and, and lightly lay me on the ground and it was a whole experience I was totally fine um, I went to the doctor about it and he just said that I was dehydrated and my blood sugar was low so yes anyways do not want that happening here so actually I'm gonna take a drink of this I am so thirsty they do say to shake well but sometimes when things tell me to shake well I'm like I'll shake you a little bit, but then like it like actually should be shaken well. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> like, do I really want an arm workout right now? It's so good. It's really good. Okay. Anyways, we obviously want the spa here to be and welcoming and comforting. So I have two candles. I have this one. It's an apple cinnamon. I'm almost done it. And it's got this beautiful glass jar. Just gorgeous. Um, and it smells amazing. And the next one that I have is this cinnamon candle. Um, recently my four-year-old sister smelled it and she nearly barked. She thought it smelled terrible. But I love it. It smells very spicy, very comforting, very warm, very fall, which is going to be perfect for today. I do recommend that if you're ever getting a new client, ask them what smells that they like because obviously everyone's going to be different and what you might like might not be something that someone else might like, blah, blah, blah. Some people only want unsalted and salted I did not mean to say unsalted I meant unseasoned what am I trying to say here unscented some people only want unscented caramels caramels I cannot speak today let's go ahead and light these bad boys
anything different from myself. simple basics. First off, we like to offer our clients fidget toys. The fidget toys that I have out right now are preferable to the clients that we have. Um, so we have these Kirby squish, squishy guys. Um, and Mead loves these, and so we have a few different options. We have Kirby, who is slightly expanding. You know, he just ate some And then we have Kirby ready to suck someone up. And this one's really nice. It has like a thumb, a little thumb grip. And finally, we have my favorite sleeping Kirby who has all these really fun limbs to play with. And so yeah, um, we have a few different options, but I brought out these ones specifically because I knew these are the ones that Mead likes. So we just offer these through um, in the beginning of the services. Um, so that way our customers can feel really relaxed and calm. And if they um, like need to self-soothe or want to distract themselves and all, then they have some little squishies. Okay. to start. And this is what makes us next a level bougie, very bougie. This is Prada Paradox. Now we have a lot of different fragrances. We've got classics like um, different ones from Givenchy and uh, we have YSL's Black Opium. But this is Prada. So I think it's their newest. I don't know if they've come out with anything since. Um, Paradox and Mead's favorite. It also happens to be our other client's favorite. It's a very soft floral, so I just like to give the general area that we're performing anything in a little spritz, so that way it smells good, aromatherapy, and it helps relax. You only need two sprays, honestly. It's a very strong fragrance. Uh, so you don't need a lot. It goes a long way. I'm going 
going to this is my giant bag of stuff um, there's a lot going on in here it's very much overflowing but first thing is first I was gonna say bandana, headband thing, um, so that way we will keep any products off of Mead's face. Just go ahead and by off of Mead's face, I meant hair and like there. All right, Mead is all ready. So. always clean now always be washing your hands when you're around the spa but just put some hand sanitizer on um, before you get started um, for obvious reasons just to ensure that we have a hygienic space and workroom keeps the customers happy and you know helps yourself as well so you know I was about to say eating, but you know what I mean? Like, you know, stay cleanly. This is another object to create atmosphere. This is a little music box. This is something Mead like specifically or other customers and super fond on more sounds. But Mead loves this little music box. We have different options for different people. Boats, I suppose. This one is the Lord of the Rings. So I just like to play this before we get started just to help soothe and really get into right, the right headspace. So we have this little um, winder upper, and then in here we've got this little metal pieces, and that's what actually makes the music. lint roller. We're just going to go ahead and clean meat off. This is a very dirty lint roller. sheet. We are just going to go ahead. We're going to begin. I'm going to kind of hold the meat up. And this is just going to go ahead and clean off any little linties. And just smooth down. Caesar. slow and gentle. We want to create a really nice relaxing environment and ensure that customers are 100% satisfied. All right, all right. Our next step will be in this bag.
understand the treatments that you're doing. Um, so don't just think that, oh, okay, she masked that simple. Um, really th understand.
genuinely works wonders and it feels really good. So we're just going really slowly across the skull. enough. Look at that fresh new skin. And this can just be discarded. Let me just fix this really quick. All right, the next step is going to be moisturizer. is going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. 
simple, very gentle. We always like to use high quality products and the shampoo. So now we can just go ahead and close that. And now we can take off the headband. I have this brush, this very soft brush. And I'm just gonna use it and I'm just gonna use it to brush me to the face. So we will be using the thermal water. And we just want to make sure that we thoroughly coat the um, loofah in water. Let us begin. <gasps> Wait! Um, I definitely didn't forget this. This is Mead's favorite. Mead mushroom. 
depends on the client. Um, you want to be asking what the client desires um, as much as possible. Alrighty, that is that done. And now we are going to be doing a massage with our fingers, but first we're going to want to put a little bit of oil on them. seeing anything. Mushroom really takes good care of their scalp hygiene. Everything's looking phenomenal. I'm just going to do a light brush through just to kind of clean it up because I did kind of mess it up a little bit. Sit. ensure that we are taking our time with each client and giving them the best experience that they possibly can have. I oftentimes daydream while I'm doing this, but I definitely try to keep myself focused and intentional. Dreamer, though. Mind 
to get a little bit more tricky areas, you're just going to take your two fingers and just kinds of services done. I'm just gonna figure out why I was so itchy and we were at the store and I'm just like, why am I so itchy? And then I figured it out. I had his hair just everywhere, so I had to go home and have a shower, but yeah. Yeah, that's everything. We've, we've done it all. I've shown you everything there is to show. So we will say goodbye. with a big squeeze. Um, they are squishmallows after all.
looking at this spa. It's a very relaxed environment um, for more than one reason. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed your first training shift, obviously. Like, um, generally, uh, we will continue going on with different trainings. So if you don't know everything right now, do not worry. There's a lot to know. Um, but thank you so, so, so much for coming in and just being such a kind person to talk to and get to spend the last, what was it, an hour together. Okay, well, I'll see you next time. Hey, it's Moth here. Hello, party people. I haven't said that in a long time. I haven't said hello, party people. Um, normally I'm playing characters in, um, my thing, my thing, my videos. Anyways, I don't know what I'm saying right now. Um, so, this video is sponsored by me, this guy right here. <laughs> um, I just wanted to promote my Ko-Fi shop. I know I'm promoting it a lot. I kind of feel bad. I feel like I'm like every YouTuber ever who like is like, oh, buy my merch, please. Um, but I don't really have merch. I do have, I, I, I've designed stickers. I'm just getting them ordered and everything ordered so I can start selling physical stickers. Um, if you want more information on that, or if you want to follow me on the journey, go ahead and you can subscribe to my second channel, Moth Town. It's the links in the description, and as well as my Instagram. My Instagram is mothtown.png, and there will be a lot of information over there as well. And you can check out my art, see if it's something you're interested in. Um, but, but my Ko-Fi shop, there is also an option to donate to me one time or monthly, kind of like a Patreon, but on Ko-Fi. Um, and there is also the option to buy custom videos and stuff like that. And um, also, uh, what's it called? Art commissions. So if you want to commission me to draw a portrait of yourself or of your significant other or of your family or whatever, you can check out my Ko-Fi and look at that. Um, I just need to pay rent bills to pay. So that's why I'm being so heavy handed. And I really am trying to make this full time job. That's the dream. And thank you for helping me live that dream. Um, and any support is appreciated, whether it's money, um, like financial, physical support, or a like, a subscribe, a comment, a view, whether you're just lurking or whether you're active in the community. I love you so much. And thank you so much for being here. Um, this community is such an amazing place and I just appreciate it so much. Okay.